Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 3rd, 2022. Well, yesterday we had Microsoft guiding lower, and then we saw those bulls just respond right back up despite some pretty well some numbers that weren't all that special we had um, hints of a slowing jobs uh, market we saw productivity fall by um, to a negative 7.3 percent while costs went up 12.6 percent but the bulls just wanted to buy something yesterday so they came rushing back in buying things up right into the price resistance levels of the charts um, what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Kind of an interesting day yesterday where we just chose to ignore some bad news. And um, it was just a, it was just a, man, we just wanted to buy something. And so as we rallied up yesterday, uh, one of the things that I was doing is carefully watching some of these resistance levels in the charts. And um, one thing I want to point out and, and have you notice is that lower than expected volume um, yesterday as we as we reversed and rallied back up. So approach this resistance level here in the chart as you can see right through this area and we still have that 50 day moving average above. So is it possible we could stretch on out to see that 50 day? You know when we get that close to a moving average like that it, it tends to draw us right into that area. So watch that carefully. I still think there is a possibility we could sneak up here a little bit more um, and heading into this weekend, but we have some data ahead of us that could cause us some problems. So um, long story short, if the bulls can find some inspiration and push on a little bit higher toward that 50 day moving average, then that is certainly possible. Unfortunately, what we have here is a very wide range of, of choppiness um, in the market. And if those bears were to find reason for inspiration, um, obviously it could be pretty painful. That's about 700 points between those two lines right there um, in the Dow. So if those bears find inspiration and they were to push lower, that could be problematic for us um, heading into a weekend. So let's watch closely for that. You know, fingers crossed, we'll see a little bit more bullishness and push us up toward that 50. But I would be really, really careful about thinking the all clear has been sounded here in the market. As a matter of fact, um, holding long trades, I would be looking for some uh, profits heading into uh, this weekend. So just watch for the possibility that, uh, that that could occur as well. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, also um, in this range, but we did sneak out just a little tiny bit on that weekly range, um, widening it up again. So um, once more, uh, we have a very wide range in CHOP here. And as we try to break through into this resistance level, we'll want to watch that pretty closely to see whether or not it can push on through to the upside. As you can see this morning, we got a little bit of bearishness coming in, heading into that um, employment situation number. We'll talk about that in a second. But watch that closely. And we do want to make note that although that 50-day moving average is within sight, we have a pretty big level of price resistance here um, that we're going to have to push on through to make it up there. Is it possible? Absolutely. But maybe a little bit more of a challenge here on the SPY than it is on the Dow. If we take a look at our NASDAQ, now QQQ showing just a little bit of bearishness this morning. As a matter of fact, it's kind of leading the bearishness this morning in the futures. And if we take a look, there's that range again where we have that low area in the chart. And then we have this significant resistance level above 
in the chart for the NASDAQ to try and push through. Can we get up into there and continue to push to that upside? Well, if we look at the technicals of the chart, I'm going to say it's going to be even harder here for the NASDAQ to make that happen um, because we've got such a distance here and such a big uh, price resistance zone here in the chart that we're going to have to push through. Um, is it possible? Yep, but we're going to need some pretty substantial inspiration to get her done um, and if those bears were to find that inspiration um, I want you to notice that it wouldn't be quite as difficult to push back down through that low here on the Nasdaq if we take a look at the Russell IWM had a great day yesterday as a matter of fact while the other indexes were selling off um, in the morning market um, IWM saw none of that it was just a uh, buy 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 um, on that um, index and you can see we're pushing this trend and we're kind of stretching out here a little bit I still think there is that possibility of more rest or pullback here in the Russell but one of the things we have to pay attention to if we look right in here pretty substantial resistance area in that chart and if I stretch that on back you can see just a pretty darn big resistance area just above but we're drawing very close to that 50-day moving average and that 50-day moving average could pull us right up into that area so here again probably more hope that the IWM can continue to stretch on higher assuming that we have a little bit of bullishness in the data today let's take a look at our VIX interest whoops can't type this morning our VIX finally with that last few minutes of surge and I mean it was the last few minutes we surged the market higher as the dark pool activity came in to um, to consolidate it to the market and as you can see here we finally finally we're able to squeeze this down below the 25 handle and close below 25 handles so what does that mean well well let's watch that area right in here can we will we continue to push on down or will we bounce off of that and maybe push on higher so let's watch that closely this 25 area is pretty substantial and um certainly if we push down there that's a nice thing to see for the bulls um, if we bounce up off of there that might be a little bit problematic and with the futures looking a little bit weak this morning there is that uncertainty out there that we'll want to be watching for you do want to kind of keep in mind that we have this little trend here as well we're trying well um, I'm trying to break it let's see if we can um, break on down here with some good data today um, if we happen to bounce off of that that could be a little bit of a problem for us let's take a look at that uh, t2122 now our t2122 indicator we're back again we're right up here in that potential bearish um, uh, zone in the market where we're kind of stretched out in the short term and I was honestly kind of hoping we would see a gap up open this morning and and, and um, that would set up opportunities for taking profits and putting on some short positions but unfortunately um, we're showing some bearishness in the pre-market here um, is it possible we gap up yeah absolutely if we still get some good numbers out of that employment situation number we could gap even higher and that would peg us up here pretty much at the top and we've seen um, pretty substantial rever reversals when we peg up here at the top so watch that carefully um, what we do know is we've opened up a pretty big opportunity for a downside move if those bears find any kind of inspiration at all so watch carefully for that and also realize heading into the weekend work when we're kind of stretched up here wouldn't be odd to see a little bit of profit taking heading into the weekend so you will want to keep a close eye on that now our t2108 did a good job yesterday um, stretching right back up here unfortunately it didn't really resolve anything um, right at the end of the day we surged even higher but we got 47 percent 
almost 48% of our stocks above the 50 day moving average. So a dramatic improvement from where we were just a week ago, uh, well, two weeks ago, uh, down here in the chart. But let's notice that we're pushing up here toward these price resistance levels in the chart and um, we still have gotta get through that downtrend. So a little bit of work needs to be done here and perhaps uh, maybe we find that inspiration that in that employment situation number. If we take a look at our T2107, well, it wasn't as impressive. As you can see, T2107 did end up responding higher, but those stocks below the 200-day moving average continue to be problematic. We are still looking at about 70% of our stocks below their 200 day moving average. Not a good situation and that really doesn't make for a good bullish situation in the market for sure. Watch this area in here on those resistance levels. Um, we'll see if they can push on through and maybe test some of that resistance above or you know if we start uh, trailing back down to the downside. Watch that carefully. Our T2101 as you can see surged up here uh, pretty substantially um, but it's interesting to me that we did that on such low volume um, as a matter of fact if I if I come over here and we look at the Nasdaq um, look how low the volume was yesterday on that surge um, kind of an interesting circumstance there just wasn't a whole lot of well I don't I can't tell you if this was a bit of a short squeeze um, or if there was actually buying going on in there. What I will tell you is there were some really good moves in some of those tech stocks yesterday and some folks in, uh, in RWO making some money um, on some of those tech moves. So uh, watch it closely. It's a little bit it's going to be kind of an interesting situation with volume being lower than normal as we continue to try and stretch to the upside here. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Now our economic calendar, um, I've been mentioning this um, all morning here, is that we have this employment situation number coming out. If we look at the consensus estimate, they're looking for a pretty good number here. Um, consensus is looking for 325,000. Now this is the Econo Day consensus. If you're looking someplace else, you might hear something else than other than that. But the Econo Day consensus is looking for 325,000. They're looking for that unemployment number to come in at 3.5, so a little bit less than, um, than we saw over here. But unfortunately, we're starting to see jobless claims um, taking that little bit of a trend up and um, that ADP number certainly was not all that encouraging yesterday. So watch that carefully. If this were to come in bearish, um, that um, that might be a little bit of a problem for us if they've maybe overestimated here um, that consensus number. Now keeping in mind that consensus number, look how far they dropped it. They dropped it more than a hundred thousand here um, so it is possible that that um, um, holds up and, and does pretty well. So watch that carefully. And then we have um, an IM, um, ISM services and we have some more Fed speak. You know, we uh, blah, blah, blah. They just uh, they can't stop talking, I guess. So um, watch for that a um, little bit later on this morning. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And I'll tell you what, our earnings calendar really is dead today. We have a dozen companies listed on the earnings calendar, and we have one only one verified earnings report for today. And that is YTRA. Not a particularly notable stock. Um, trading at $1.97. Um, leisure company, um, this is the only stock on the list for um, earnings today. So um, doubt we find much inspiration there. Um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, however. Um, but before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who continues to click those thumbs up buttons and leave those brief comments. I know... Uh, 
it's awfully repetitious on um, daily videos like this, but I do truly appreciate the support of the effort that it takes to put these out and the research and the things that I do to, to put these together. So thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. It means the world to me. And we are continuing to see the channel grow. So if you feel like these videos are worthy enough to share them out on your social media feed, I would also truly appreciate that. And thank you for those folks who continue to support the channel through Buy Me A Coffee. You guys are truly, truly awesome. Um, can't can't tell you how much it means to me. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, um, you need to be doing a your own due diligence, making sure that you understand the risk of every trade. Keeping in mind the volatility of this market, anything is possible. So make sure you understand those risks before you jump into trades. First off, let's take a look at AMD. I've, I've I've mentioned AMD several times in the morning prep video and I was really hoping it would wait just a little bit longer to actually connect a trend. One of the problems when we stretch out here away from trend like that, well we just go too far too fast and then we get a pretty bad or punishing pullback to come back into the trend. But yesterday, if you're in this trade, you had a really good reward in that position uh, popping through. Um, or you can see, I've told, told you guys that I had an alert set here on the chart and um, a lot of the um, right way options folks um, profited on this trade yesterday. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Watch for a little resting pullback in that chart now um, as we try and um, well, maybe pull back. Remember, we still have to um, break these downtrends. Um, all we did was run up there and test the downtrend in the charts. Um, if we take a look at some of those other tech stocks, take a look at um, like Google. Google had a good day yesterday, pushing up through some resistance in the chart, um, um, looking like it's going to get a little bit of a pullback. Remember, the overall downtrend has not been beat yet, but um, there's a lot of these stocks like this, um, I, and I mean a lot of stocks. Take a look at like um, Roku. Roku had a pretty good day yesterday, popping up a little higher low, but he, there's just, it's all, I could spend my whole video here today just going through the list of stocks where we bounced up into downtrends and bounced up into price resistance levels in the chart. I mean, there's hundreds of them um, in in that sector where we're, we seem to be rushing in. And this is a problem, I think, that could create some painfulness for those folks that rushed in yesterday with that possibility that they bought right at price resistance and those sellers could come in on that point. So just be really careful and be respectful of downtrends and resistance levels as long as our market continues to trend to the downside. Let's take a look at um, some other things in here. Take a look at the financials, XLF. Um, if you look at the financials, we had a pretty good day yesterday bouncing up and now we're getting this really odd um, um, futures action in here. But what I want to point out is in the um, XLF is that we're pushing that downtrend here in the chart. And at the same time, we're pushing a pretty substantial resistance area. So like I said, there's a lot of stocks doing that. But within that sector, there is some nice bullishness. If you take a look at like JP Morgan, JP Morgan looking pretty good. You probably heard JP Morgan warning just a couple of days ago of a economic hurricane around the corner and that um, Jamie Dimon is suggesting he's going to play this I'm very conservative. He thinks there's a market, a big market wave, um, um, but he's, he, he's not talking about the timing. He didn't say anything about when that was going to come, just that he believes it is coming. So watch that carefully. This made this nice higher low, it broke that downtrend. So if we can hold some price supports in here, then we might see uh, JP Morgan moving higher. If we take a look at Citibank, we, we remember that it wasn't all that long ago that uh, Warren Buffett revealed a big purchase into Citibank. And you can see Citibank breaking that downtrend in here, 
pushing up in that chart. If we can hold some of this support, notice we're trying to come out here to trend. There may be that opportunity in here for Citibank to push on through to the upside. So, so there is some bullishness starting to show up in some of those financials. However, if Jamie Dimon is anywhere close to right, and I'm not saying that he is, um, we'll want to watch um, those kind of areas pretty closely. Um, take a look at stocks like AKAM. Big stretch yesterday, pushing up. This is something I had alerted and I um, uh, let people know in RWO about this yesterday. Notice this nice little bullish pattern holding that trend and this substantial gap above. If we can pop up into that gap, you could see a pretty nice run up into um, that area. So watch that close um, if that can push on through to the upside. Um, on the bearish side, it was interesting um, uh, yesterday, and it's it's somewhat bearish. Um, notice in here, um, Coca-Cola, we started with a lot of the food companies pushing down, which was interesting because the USDA just came out with a forecast suggesting food prices are going to go substantially higher um, in the months ahead. And if they're correct, uh, we could see these stocks continue to rally. But uh, looking at Coke here, we have failed this support a couple of times and rallied back right at the end of the day. So can we push on through or will we push up in here and continue to roll off to the downside? I think you're going to have to watch and wait on this one um, and be a little bit careful. But there are some of those stocks like oh, Philip Morris, um, some of these defensive sectors stocks that really took off to the downside yesterday and then reversed back up. Take a look at Philip here. We're underneath this price resistance. So we still have that potential here where we could pop our head into that and continue on lower. But with this hammer pattern, if that hammer could follow on through to the upside, then there would be that opportunity. And I I'm going to wait on that. This is going to have to pop through up here. Hold and then I would be interested in that trade. A lot of bit of, lot of uncertainty going on here in this sector. So just watch those areas close. So with that, guys, I'm kind of running out of time here. I don't want to make the video too long. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And more importantly, I want to wish you an awesome weekend for you and your family. Be safe. Take care. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Wish you all the best.